What's going on everybody? Welcome to yet another Pi Game tutorial from youtube.com slash Centex for Bucking the New Boston. Uh, this tutorial what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to start building a tank. So uh, with that, what we want to do is we want to build a tank and we know that we want to just draw the tank so we're going to just use the shapes to draw our tank. And so how might we do this? Well. A tank is simple enough, right? So you've got the body of a tank. That can just be a rectangle. And in fact, let me pull up the trusty paint and number one teaching material right here. So we got this and we'll do solid fill and we'll do that black. So we know that uh, we need the body of the tank like that. That'll be the body of our tank. And then to make a turret for the tank, we could really just do something like this, right? And then a turret would be you know, like that, okay? And then we could add some tread here. It's gonna take me too long to add the tread, but basically a bunch of circles to make tread. So that's easy enough. We know how to do all of these things, okay? The turret is just a line, or I mean, well, I guess, I don't know, the gun is a line, I suppose, and then the turret is a circle. It just so happens that half of the circle is covered by the rectangle, and then the rectangle is, well, a rectangle. So we know how to do all of these things so we can just draw a tank. So, uh, with that, that's basically what our tank is going to look like. That's what I have in my head. So we're going to get out of this, and we're just going to start drawing this tank. So first of all, we need the starting location of our tank, just like we needed a starting location of our snake and apples and all of that. So um, we'll just put it right here, and we're just going to say main tank X, and that's going to be equal to display underscore width, times uh, 0 0.9 so that's going to start our tank over uh, to the right hand side of our screen and then we'll do main tank y equals display uh, whoops display height times and this one we want it to be like kind of low but not too low to the point where the tank is like off the screen so for example if we could do 0 0.9 but you'll see how we have a trouble with that probably it's going to go off the screen but we'll leave that there for now Actually, let's do zero points. We'll just leave it as zero point. Zero points. We'll do zero points. You guys are right. <laughs> anyway, so now what we want to do is we want to actually draw a, a tank. So we're just going to put a tank function like right here, and basically this will be define tank, and then the tank will just have x and y coordinates, right? The x and y of this tank. So wherever we want the tank to begin. Oops, colon, and then. How do we do this? Well, basically, we're going to draw the circle first. So we'll say uh, pygame.draw.circle. And where do we draw it? Well, we draw it on the game display. And then what uh, what color? We can make our tank any color we want. And really, we should do define tank. Um, I'm trying to think here. If we want tank. So we might want to have an enemy tank, but we'll probably have a separate function for enemy tank. This would be a good time to talk about object-oriented programming. Um, I'm trying to leave that out as, as best as I can, but we might end up having to go to make a class here. That way we can just have a tank object and have like an enemy tank object. And but Anyway, we'll not, well, hopefully we can avoid getting into that. But anyway, pygame.draw at circle. Where do we draw it? The game display. And what color? We'll do it black. And then the location of the circle. So remember, a circle is just the center of the circle and then the radius of the circle. So the center will be the int of x and int of y. Now, why do we have to specify int? It might be the case that you get a... Uh, Let's see, x, y, x will be passed through, uh, right, we're going to pass through main tank x and main tank y, and the reason why we want to convert it to an int is this might return a float, because we're multiplying it by a decimal, so chances are it comes back as a decimal, which is a float, and this drawing will not draw floats, right, it's a, a pixel is a freaking pixel, you can't divide a pixel up. So, um, otherwise it would be more than one pixel. So we have to convert it, basically we're rounding it up and we're gonna use int to round it. So int x, int y, and then I believe that was 
that, okay. And then, comma, and we're gonna have this be 20 pixels thick. So, um, that, sh that should be good. And now we actually have to call tank. So we'll come down to our actual game. So we've got game intro, and then we've got game loop. And then basically, if you recall, we fill with white, and then this is where we draw all this stuff based on the previous logic. So then we'll just underneath game display dot fill, we'll just call tank. And then tank will be, uh, I think it's main tank X, main tank Y. Hopefully those are correct. Uh, let's, let's gamble, let's toss the dice and see if we got it right. So here it is, hit play, and there is our beautiful circle. Possibly a little big, um, since we're going to have two tanks, um, but we have a circle on the screen, and that's good enough for me. So now we've got our turret, we've got our tank beginnings, but we have obviously a lot of things we still want to do. We've got the turret, we've got the base, and then we've got like the little wheels and the tread that we want to add, just to make it look like a tank. So. We've started our tank function. We obviously have a lot of stuff to add to it. Um, that was 0 0.7. We could do 0 0.9 just to see where that puts us. Um, a little better, actually, in this sense. I thought it would be off the screen, but a little bit, but no. Um, so we've got our tank started, nonetheless. And now we're ready to get the body and everything else. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. Uh, we'll continue building our tank. Um, so stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.